It's IBC 2024, we're in Hall 10 and we're on the leader booth here and I'm joined by Kevin. Hi Kevin, how are you doing? I'm very well, Simon. Thank you once again for coming to visit us. Always a pleasure. Now, we spoke at NAB about the LV 5600W, which we you did. had just released, I believe then. Yep, we had. For those that might have missed that announcement, give us a quick overview of what we're looking at here. So, the W series uh, is an enhancement to the 5600 and 7600 okay. product range that uh, lots of our customers love, enjoy and basically find absolutely vital when it comes to live production okay the w series adds a web rtc interface right okay. so we're now starting to see more and more clients look at remote production or having a second pair of eyes looking at clips so this allows you to now via a web rtc interface remotely connect to the device either control it yeah or maybe monitor because we've now got enhanced picture frame rate reproduction so there's no kind of that jagged movement mm. and there's instantaneous control. So it's just adding flexibility to what is already a powerful tool. Yeah. So what are you what are you talking to your customers about and, and discovering the key challenges that they might be having right now? I think one of the key challenges is that everybody sees HDR, their customers see HDR mm. and it's better. Right. And the great thing with HDR is you don't need to explain to the consumer. They look at it and they can see the difference. Yes. But obviously not everybody is watching HDR, so we can't jump ahead with the latest technology and sort of jettison mm. our legacy formats. For most trucks, 90% of the production is being watched in SDR, so we can't compromise that. Right. So we see lots of people with workflows that are quite clunky, complicated, mm. cumbersome, trying to accommodate the SDR. Right. Okay. So we've been working, there have been a couple of major sporting events this summer that we've heavily been involved with. Mm. And on the Leader Zen series, so this doesn't have to be a W, if you've got an existing unit, mm -hmm. upgrade your software, and we're giving you the ability to load 3D LUTs onto the right, okay. waveform monitor. Mm -hmm. So on the screen here, I've got an example where I've got an HDR signal coming in. Mm -hmm. it's, it's HLG, it's 2020. Yep. And then I'm applying a LUT okay. to that. So that's my HDR to SDR conversion. Yep. So I can now see the waveform vector. It's all done on the waveform monitor. So that means there's no conversion products upstream. Right. It's simplifying the workflow. Yep. So simply, give the camera shader, put the LUT that you're working on for the production on here. They rack the cameras in SDR. Job done. Job done, out the back. SDR is exactly as you see it here, and the HDR looks stunning. It's simplifying it. It's, it's the single layer workflow optimized using the leader waveform monitors. Wow, and this is now shipping? It's now shipping. So if you're an existing customer, yep. Go to our website, so that's leaderfabrics.com. Go to the support portal. You can download version 7.7 .7 software, and that will enable you to put your LUTs, and we can store up to 10 LUTs. Okay. So if you're doing a production that's going to multiple rights holders and they each have different yeah, yeah. LUT requirements, you can view them on this box and not have to keep punching in and changing LUTs across the whole system. Very clever. Simon. Thank you very much. So the website again? So that's www.leaderfabrics.com. Kevin, thank you very much indeed. Do check out the website and do look for the other video we're doing here on the Leader Booth at IBC as well. For everything else we're doing at the show, that's at kitplus.com.